All right, so this, uh, this 850 project, originally the, the diagnosis was a broken uh, main jet, the screw, um, the owner uh, snapped the screw and then the main jet got stuck in it. So the diagnosis to fix it was just to you know, get the jet out and then replace the jet. And uh, <clears throat> so I did all that and then um, went to start the engine and uh, got no spark and um, you know tested the uh, stator and the uh, trigger and both of them failed which is, is kind of rare and um, in this business for, for both for both of them to fail uh, simultaneously um, it just makes me wonder if there's anything else wrong with the engine you know before it gets back to the owner so but that's what this video is about and um, I'm ready to do it All right, so we're on the catch of new new inventory. I've got a 1977, 78, 850 four cylinder. Um, lo looks like a really good unit. Um, okay, so we have a silencer here that does not work for nothing. He said that he tried to install a new uh, brass plug here, but it didn't work out too well. That one did. It says it's perfect running condition, uh, very attached to the engine. It has a pad of skag on it, and there's milk all over it. I want this to pop off, which is not good for the lower unit, but we're going to definitely take a look at it. So, the first thing I'm going to do is try to uh, put, put a brass plug in there to, to that way the fuel is not leaking out of this through this BS silencer here, which does not work by the way. And uh, we're gonna see what happens. All right, so my carbs are my least favorite carbs. So I have two extra here, but I do not want to assemble this block for that. So I'm gonna have to search. Oh, let's see this pile of crap. Let's see if I can find an, another Mark carb. Actually, there might be some in there, but we'll see. Tripping on the boat parts, it's ridiculous, but it's okay. It's a good, it's a good, good problem. Right? All right, so this is a bag of miscellaneous Merc car parts. So we're gonna see what's going on here. Double that. Okay. Ideally, all I need is a bottom bowl, and it just has to be able to screw. So I got two bottom bowls here, which jet stuck in there, so that's no good. So I have one bottom bowl. Hmm. Okay, so this is gonna be the one that we're going with. This is a jet was shook out. Uh, so, for those of you that are trying to get into the whole, you know, Mark Cowboy repair thing, there's never, it always seems easy, but there's never anything that just pops up easy. So, um, I'm going to replace this car uh, bowl here 
just so I can screw this in so it seals tight, but I have to remove the entire shroud. So that's what we're gonna do now. The next thing we're going to take off is BS silencer, which does not work. Uh, so it's just uh, the screws here and down there. Are out. As you can see, the car broke exposed. So I just have to replace this, uh, this bottom part here. Now, hopefully, everything screws in. Screw that, so this is just drop down. <sighs> Jet on the inside is just totally effed up. 
I'm not sure how I'm gonna get that out. Okay, so I was able to get the nozzle out and the jet is right there, so it was completely snapped off. Actually had the same problem with the see the outboard that was left to die in that video where the uh, nozzle got stuck and then the, that snapped off. I don't know if this is a common thing that these are not, so I do not have a spare nozzle. These other cars, yeah, but um I do have this tire head sitting here and it has a nozzle on it, so I'm gonna take this off, put it on that one, and we're gonna see if it talks. Alright, well I got the nozzle out. Man, that is really gunked up. All right, yeah, I'm gonna have to soak this before we even attempt to put this in the other engine. I wonder what, I wonder what the other one looks like. Okay, so the other one looks <laughs> a little better, I suppose. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and soak these in some chemicals and uh, get them cleaned up. Damn, whichever one was the best one, putting that one. Okay, so this one. Turned out the best. It's clean. That one, you can nothing in there. Yep, there you go. This bowl is squeaky clean. Which tells me this engine is probably going to talk really well once we get everything back together. So let's go ahead and do that. <sighs> All right, so we're back. We got the battery hooked up. Put a block of wood under it because the stand is making me really uncomfortable with the way it's leaning. All right, so I'm gonna fire it up. Let's see if it talks on the first first turn. That's what I like to see. All right.
I'm just testing for spark right now. See what's, see what's going on here. No fire. Hmm. Well, okay. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so now I'm testing the uh, testing the stator right now. I have it disconnected. So I have the red and blue wires connected it should be I think 5.4 to 6.2 which I'm getting zero so let me connect I'll disconnect this I'm gonna try to do this holding the camera which may or may not work out well connect the red and white and the blue and white and I'm not getting anything Hmm. All right. So now I'm testing the trigger. I'm looking between uh, brown and white, even though it doesn't really look brown. I'm not getting anything on that either. All right. So the white to the violet sleeve. I'm getting 0.862. Okay, and the reading is supposed to be between 11 and 14. Okay, so that's low. Okay, so now I'm testing between the, uh, the violet and the brown. Got nothing on that. So is it possible to have a bad stator and a bad trigger? Hmm, this will be a first. Okay, so I just seriously had to, I don't know, do some soul searching because that is definitely a 1977 uh, wrap. Looked up the serial number, which is, I can't see it, it's 4722688. So that says that it's a 1977. ADI ignition did not come out until 1979. Hmm. Hey, so you think you know somebody, you know? <laughs> All right, so what year is this engine? Um, yeah, it's got to be in the early 80s. All right, well, I have bigger fish to fry. I gotta figure out what's going on with this spark right now. Looks like I have a bad, uh, <clears throat> a bad trigger and a bad uh, alternator. Uh, so, all right, well, we're gonna replace it. Okay, so I mean, based off the trials, the serial numbers, it's 1977. Obviously, it was replaced with AI ignition, so it has to be a 79 to 82, 83 model. Uh, so they switched to the cannon plug, but this model has a side plug, so it had to be modified. But um, we're definitely going to make it work, regardless. Um, it has great compression, 150 in all four cylinders, and um, I'm going to make it talk. That's the bottom line. So hey, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all the support, and uh, I love you guys. Peace.